When yes. we moved from VHS to DVD, there's a whole lot of movies that got lost mm -hmm. because they're never going to make it on the DVD. And the same thing with streaming. Mm -hmm. There was all kinds of movies lined up here, here. We revamped it so we could have more room. We just started this retro horror section last year, and this has been absolutely huge. It's so awesome. awesome. The very first time I came in here, they were selling VHSs like four for a dollar, and I bought like nearly every animated film that was on the shelf, like all the Ninja Turtles, a whole bunch of anime, and all these great films, and I was immediately like hooked on this place. One has a picture of me and some of our, and my wife and a couple other people posing as the Rocky Horror Picture Show. All year, my best-selling title last year was 15 titles. 15 units, and this year it's 70. This is our new release area. We started our original store with 200 movies we purchased. We scrounged up $2,000. You know, just ask our customers what they want, and we just just order what people ask for. That's kind of how we stay in business. We had a big, long table in the middle with like 10 or 20 Betamaxes daisy chain, in other words, wired to each other. And then all these livid, crazed boxes with, of movies like from Wizard Video and I Spit on Your Grave, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and that sort of thing. It was just just really an exciting time to see. It's not really the death of the video store, it's the death of the big ones. And uh, I can just imagine all the people who rented that video. It's been in so many homes, it's right. been part of so many parties, and to me that's that's the true intrinsic, intrinsic value of uh, home video.